semacam meski ya Hello. <laughs> so when they took my blood results yesterday, I showed a reduction in my hemoglobin count, which is my uh, red cell count, and uh, the hemoglobins are the the parts of the red cells that carry oxygen um, within your blood throughout your body to your organs. Um, and various parts of your body, obviously. Uh, we think it was because the chemo. Yes. The chemo caused the bone marrow depress. Yes. Yeah, so they caused this one going down. We just worry they will continue going down. Because now we just about uh, still in the two weeks, inside the two weeks or after the chemo. So yeah. they will continue going down until 14 and then they can go into the arm. Mm -hmm. So I just worry they will continue going down and then they only have one lung and also, you know, the hemoglobin for the take the oxygen. Mm. Yeah, if your lung pressure also, the heart already has some problem. And also, if cause if this blood also less of the hemoglobin to take the oxygen, then you would <coughs> cause the short of breathing. Yes. And then cause the infection. Be careful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a big mosquito. <laughs> How is my um my protein level going? Is it is it coming up still? Yeah, I think they continue going up, but you know because the protein they're not just growing up so fast. Yeah. So is there another way to increase it except for doing the um, is there another yeah. natural way, like you said, eat, eat more protein, yeah, more eggs, more protein. eat more yeah, meats, yeah, yeah. is this the, yeah, this but this is the quicker way? Yeah, yeah, this is quicker way. Yes, because it's, you know, it's, I don't mind, but it's expensive, I think every day yeah, it's yeah, yeah. 300 Australian dollars or something, or 200, yeah, yeah. So, and it's every day for maybe yeah, yeah. another so two weeks. So that's why I so. hope they can be fast and then you can take more food and then keep it up. Yeah. Yeah, just more protein food, like some beans. Uh, some milk, mm. you can take more milk a day, yes. yeah, and egg, yeah, also good for your meat and fish, chicken, mm. all yeah. things, good for you, yeah. Yes. Okay, now that's fair. Well, I will continue for now and see, because yeah. I need that to improve as yeah. well, so it's, yeah. it's, 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 I don't have no choice, that's okay. So apparently the pick line is a little bit blocked, so the fluids are coming out, but they're not going in. So maybe furthering down the line, the uh, needle is pushed against the vein or there's something obstructing it, maybe a little blockage. So the lovely ladies here are just trying to flush it for me. Yeah. Do you know the name of the medicine? No medicine. Oh, okay. And you, you from your tablet? Oh, this is from my blood. Yeah. Ah, okay. So this bottle here is from the uh, immunotherapy, or for the immunotherapy. This is the second bottle that I'm having uh, out of four. And uh, what happened was at the beginning of the month they took a series of um, blood bloods, um, I suppose. Um, took them to the lab, cultured them, um, separated the different whites and uh, red cells, and then I suppose re-engineered that blood. Um, yeah. Just the immunotherapy we give to you is combined immunotherapy. They including three ways. Yes. First one, we have to draw your blood to catch out uh, in the laboratory. Yes. Uh, maybe several days later, we will induce back to your body. Yes. One one bottle every day, four days, four yes. times. Um, or this uh, fluid here that's going to be re-injected back into my body. Uh, now the aim of it is that it goes into the body, adapts with the uh, immune system and uh, in a way I suppose teaches my immune system to recognise cancer cells or recognise my particular cancer cells and then uh, to I suppose destroy them on site. Um, so it's pretty much just an immune system booster 
and this is incorporated or this incorporated with cryosurgery, chemotherapy, um, and the two other well, the two other techniques that FUDA um, are renowned for is um, as I suppose the whole um, philosophy of their cancer treatment. Uh, immunotherapy, cryosurgery, chemotherapy, the three C's um, that they I suppose follow in order to, uh, to, to give late stage cancer patients the most hope. So hope that made sense but yeah this is my, my, my blood cells that were taken at the earlier of the month. They've been cultured and re-engineered and they're now going to be re-injected into me with the aim of boosting my immune system. Here have uh, active Hong Kong, which yep. can stimulate immunity. Yes. So we just found a uh, two step point and then put the yes. interleukin two to stimulate that point yes. in your immune system. Yeah, and then that's it for immunotherapy for this month. No, nothing else. Uh, yeah, we'll yeah. This for month. this, yeah, for this month, and then they will continue walk in your body. Yes. Yeah, this one depends on the patient. Maybe somebody will be three months or six months or one year, depend on. Okay, and is yeah. there a way that you can monitor? Yeah, we will monitor to see how your just the factors. We will check the blood. This one here called Cordis. How long? How long have Chinese people been using this this medicine? This for for about more than one thousand years. More than one thousand yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, now in China, it's yeah. the best herbal for tumor patients. It's the best herbal. It's the best herbal medicine for uh, Also, the most expensive. Yeah. And the, the main reason that people take this is for energy and pain relief. Yeah. Energy and pain relief. Yeah, yeah. That's for number one reason. Uh, yeah. yeah. Energy and for the uh, for the immune uh, immune therapy. Yeah. Immune therapy. Yeah. The immune system. Yeah. Yeah. This repeat is uh, about one gram. One, one gram. gram. Yeah. One half. Yes. And then drink drink water. Yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate it. See you. Thank you. Bye-bye. So what is the so the aim of the acupuncture, the aim, so your goal for for me is to boost my immune system. Yes, yes. Um and to stop me from feeling sick. Yes. From the take therapy, out side effects. Take out side effects. Mm. And you think three days per week? Three days, three, three times three, per week. Three to five times. Three to five times, mm -hmm. and includes acupuncture, oxybustion, yeah. and massage as well, or no massage? Massage, uh, if you would like. Today I want to massage. Okay, massage. Yes, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, massage also have some side effects of increased immune, but not very strong. Yes. It's not very strong. Yes. So relax. Most, most important is acupuncture moxibustion. and moxibustion yes, therapy. Moxibustion. Acupuncture and the moxibustion like brothers and sisters. Ah, yes, yes, uh, yes. They both stimulate the acupoints and yes. uh, meridians, we call it, yes, along the body. Yes, yeah. However, the moxibustion have some benefits, like uh, no pain, yes. and the plant oil can absorb by skin to increase ah, yes, immune yes, function. Yes, yes, yes. And it's uh, so... Uh, most of the time we do it two together because Hi. Thank you. I feel good. I feel good. Yes, <laughs> I'm Superman. Yes, Superman. No, I'm Batman. Yeah, you're Superman. <laughs> yeah, a little pain. No, nah, no pain. You can sing song. Sing a song. Sing a Chinese song. Yes, you can? No, you can. <laughs> uh, I haven't changed drain in my chest for a few days now since probably uh, early this week um, Monday, Tuesday odd. Um, the fluid is obviously building up I'm not too sure how much per day or how quickly but there's definitely fluid inside my chest. It's not causing me any pain. 
which is good. Um, the painkillers are working, um, but last night I had a little bit of discomfort, um, I suppose. So because I know I haven't drained it for a few days, I thought I'd, uh, while I'm sitting here getting the transfusion, get rid of some of the pleural fluid on the left hand side as well. So it's a pretty straightforward process. I had the indoling pleural catheter put in in Perth, which I, I think I've talked about before. Um, it's a semi-permanent, I suppose, drain that goes down between the pleural lining um, or the pleural space at the lining of your chest wall. It goes down and sits in there where all the fluid collects and it's got a series of holes in the tube. And uh, when you open up the valve um, or enable to release the pressure, the fluid flows up and out and into this bag. It goes along to this connection port here, which has a one-way valve. Um, when the bag isn't connected, this port unclips and you place a lid on top. And then from here to here, just sort of curls up into a ball and sits on top of your chest. And then you just put the bandages in over the top to uh, keep it sort of hidden away from the world. But as we're draining, we've got a connection piece, this section here with a clamp to stop the flow of fluid and it's connected into the tube through the, the one-way valve. There's a skinnier straw that penetrates the one-way valve up to here and allows fluid to flow through. So um, the idea is that you just drain the fluid as necessary to relieve pain um, and you do it slowly so as to not cause a sudden expansion of your pleural um, or your chest cavity as this can make, um, if you drain the fluid too quickly, it can uh, drop your lung and can create really, uh, I suppose, differentials in pressure and cause a lot of pain and a lot of coughing. You sort of tend to cough non-stop. So I've sort of worked out the routine that I drain around 500 mils an hour every sort of 15 minutes and then I'll clamp it. You open this, pretty simple, just click it open and then I'll have a little bit of a break for 20 minutes and then drain again. Like I said, it's five or six days after my last um, infusion of chemotherapy and I've been eating very, very well over the last couple of days, getting myself stronger and stronger and uh, getting ready for next week uh, where I've got my first cryosurgery. Um, it's not booked in yet, hopefully it'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, but we'll find out uh, Monday morning. They'll uh, take some bloods, see what my, uh, my numbers are doing and then the doctors will get together and uh, decide for a plan of attack. So it's going moving into the next stage now, um, cryosurgery. The, uh, I suppose the, the light at the end of the tunnel for me, this is the one that I really think will have the ability to um, remove bulk amounts of the tumours that are in my pleural space and I'm, I'm really excited about um, getting sort of stuck into it and getting rid of them, getting them out of my system. Um, but we'll talk more about that uh, next week. But um, that's all I've got to say for now. Um, thanks to everyone for all your support and your, uh, your well wishes. It's really, really great knowing that uh, I've got such an amazing network of family and friends behind us um, during this, this, uh, this sort of journey of recovery that myself and, uh, and Chiki are going on. So God bless, take care, and uh, I'll see you all very, very soon.